I will put you at the top of my naughty list. It's time for Blumpkin and Friends, starring your host, the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, kids. I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin, and with me here today is my friend... Ivy. You had to think of what to do? <laughs> yeah. You gotta talk louder. Okay, okay. So that I don't have to spend 25 minutes uh, amplifying your voice when I go through the editing process. Gotcha, bitch! So Ivy's here, albeit 72 minutes later than I thought she would be. Hey, my bad. Because her dog, her dog pooed on the floor and has its period. Yep. Delicious. It's so gross. I've never changed a dog diaper before, and I don't want to ever change a dog diaper again. Well, the best way to avoid changing a dog's diaper is to not have a fucking dog. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't know. Like, I've had male pets all my life, and I didn't know dogs got their period. So what do you think's worse? A dog walking around all day with, like, a pink crayon hanging out all red rocket style, or, like, your other dog now who's getting her femme fluids everywhere? Definitely the femme fluids. Yeah. That was kind of a one-sided rhetorical question <laughs> well it's the time of year again where i talk about how much i don't like christmas and you're here because you like christmas i love it why do you love it i just like the snow the christmas lights i don't particularly like family time except on my dad's side but people can stay away on christmas and i'll still have a great time <laughs> but i do like giving presents i love christmas except for the part with the people yeah. And then, you know, and your mom probably just wraps random shit from around the house and acts like it's new. Yeah. Or she, like, goes and steals stuff that's, like, three times too big or something like that. And she just, or just something she thought I might like and then brings it. And I'm like, I don't even know why you would think I would want this. Like, for the longest time, she thought my favorite color was pink. So she got me everything pink. And that's, like, the one color I hate. So I was like, I'm not going to wear this. I mean, thank you, but I'm not going to ever wear this. God damn it. Yeah. Did you just give it to your sister or what? Well, it, the thing is, it's like she usually got like sweatshirts or pants. I'm talking about old school grandma pants that like had the flare out and everything at the bottom, like from thrift stores and stuff that were bright pink. It looked like a giant sweatsuit. What's wrong with sweatsuits? They're not. They're not They're not okay anymore. You'd never make it as a rapper <laughs> or as an Italian gangster. But I'm not Italian, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, but I don't think you have to be Italian to be an Italian gangster. I, you can be in the mob. They'll have affiliates that aren't well, necessarily of Italian blood. I'm Russian, so I can be in the Russian mob. Yeah, because that's what people <laughs> want to do is part of the vores. Yeah, hey, we're hacking people's fingers off. We got tattoos all over our body to show yeah. off the crimes we've committed and the prison time we've done. You'd probably have to get a couple of crashed up cars tattooed on your back. At least two. At least two, if not the victims, too. Like, oh, I would have to, it's <laughs> kind of dark. I'd have to get the other cars, too. Just get the whole scenario on my back. Just the whole scene. Russian. And Irish. I was going to say, I didn't... I would have thought only Irish. No. Your fucking name is Ivy, so why would anybody think anything besides Irish? Look at how goddamn blue your eyes are and fair-skinned you are. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's bring up... Yeah, I get this from my grandma's side. Oh. Everybody else is tan. That's why I thought it was adopted all my life. Cause she like... also has freckles on her cheek while I'm describing her. Bryce, stop masturbating. Oh, I thought somebody was really masturbating. I'm like, who else is He here? could be. He could be. He could be stroking his beard with one hand and his schwats in the other. Giggity! It's an interesting combination. Yeah, your grandmother was doing what to who now? Oh, no, I'm just saying, like, I get my fair skin from my grandma... And, like, everybody else in my family, like my mom, my dad, my other half-siblings, even Layla, like, they all have tan, like, olive skin. Like me? Like yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. Something I dream of. <laughs> Something you dream of? <laughs> yeah, and I just have fair... I Like, I'm the only one... Like, my mom has freckles, but Layla has none. Layla has none. She's got, like, one or two, like, on her leg, but other than that, she has no freckles. So you like, seem a little upset I'm about I'm a little that. upset. Like, we're polar opposites. And then it didn't help that my name was Ivy. So going through middle school, it was just constant, like, oh, she's Poison Ivy. Look out. Don't let her touch you. Or you're going to get itchy. 
That's like the oldest joke in the book. And people still do it at That's work. not very creative. No, people still do it at work. They're really? like, oh, are you poison ivy? <laughs> yes, Dale, I am. I don't know who this Dale is, but you're already calling out <laughs> actual specific people. No, no, I didn't think it, his name wasn't Dale, I don't think. But it just sounds like an old, older gentleman with old jokes. You know how you combat that? Is you go, ha, 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 boy, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> You're really smart. Yeah. What can I get you today? Yeah, no, I've definitely done that because they're like, oh, I bet you heard that before. I was like, sir, I've heard plenty before, and that's definitely something I hear every day. Nothing about your, nothing about that was original. That's why I'm not laughing. At least your name doesn't <laughs> rhyme with anything dirty. Yeah, I mean, that was only the bright side, but I feel like I'd like that better. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a name that would rhyme with something dirty. I worked with a girl at Target back in the day. Her name was Gina, and everybody called her Gina. <laughs> and that pissed her off to no end. See, that's funny, though. I like that. I wouldn't mind being called Gina. Huh. <laughs> well, now that I'm married and we all live under one roof, Christmas has become a bigger deal. Uh, for one, there's this dilemma of what to write on the presents. Because at the Beast's house, she puts from Santa. Oh. But the girls told her, Santa doesn't come to Daddy's house. Because I don't ever write from Santa. I've never right. even brought it up. I just, I don't fucking talk about Santa because I don't like to lie to children. Because eventually they're going to find out that you've been lying and be pissed off. Well, I don't know. It's just like the joy of childhood. The joy of having some asshole in the playground say, you're fucking stupid, you still believe in Santa Claus, it's not real, it's just your parents. And they're like, what? Well, it's like the innocence of children. You don't want them to be a, a Scrooge <laughs> all through childhood. You want them to believe in stuff and have an imagination. Let me remind you that Chi-Chi <laughs> licked the juice's butthole yeah. in the bathtub. Is that the innocence of childhood is to not know? Yes! <laughs> that is the innocence, is to not know the truth about everything like they didn't see anything wrong in that they just well, thought it was a did. yeah i mean i don't so just a little bit like that's that's a no no spot i had to explain what hepatitis a was oh. try getting that across to a four and a half year old <laughs> but you're gonna get hep a what's that it's a disease that never goes away when you get poop germs in your mouth Surprise! that's why you don't eat shit or lick assholes yeah i know a lot of people that do why? I don't know. It's the new fad, apparently. It's the new fad? <laughs> it's the new fad is to eat ass. <laughs> like, because, you know, why? I don't want to suck a dick. That's disgusting. I'm just going to lick her ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't want to eat her pussy. Ew. No. But her asshole. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's Taste like, the rainbow. I don't know who invented it, who even first tried it, why they tried it. But it's like, what? what? Like, why are you eating somebody's asshole? Well, uh, maybe we're missing something. Maybe assholes I mean, are delicious. Mm, mm, bitch. I, I'm going to take that L and not try it and take your word for it. Get out there and tongue some bungs. <laughs> Go tongue some lady bungs. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I would prefer a lady bung over a man bun. I think we all would. That's a lot of hair that mm. I don't want to deal with. And I don't even think you guys wipe very well. I wipe every time I go to the bathroom. I mean, I'm just regardless saying, like, of like... if I poo or not. <laughs> Why? Because I fart a lot. Oh, oh, and you have like leaks? No, but you think that thing's self-cleaning? Oh, okay. Just to be safe, I call it a safety wipe. A safety wipe. You never know. Yeah, Especially that's what I'm in the saying. Summer, not a lot of guys do that. I know a lot of guys that don't. I've seen more brown streaks in underwear than I'd like to. Like they just have no chill. They don't even know how to wipe their own ass. On, like, boys you've dated? More as, like, my mom's crackhead boyfriends. They just left their stuff all over the living room. But I don't know if that's, like, a crackhead thing. Obviously. Do you know that an extended life of doing drugs, especially, like, heroin addicts, you have a looser butthole. Oh. You lose your bowels more frequently. Like, old dopers that I see in the jail shit their pants a lot. Oh, my God. They go to fart and it's like, plop. (laughs) Uh Uh-oh. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then that explains a lot. I'm just, that was poor training, but whatever. No. No, so just, I mean, maybe your mom just shits her pants a lot and you don't even know. Oh, no. Oh, she does. Oh, 
Well, see, there you go. Yeah. Old oh, dopers. She she makes it a mission to tell me when she shits her pants now. She just thinks it's like a trophy, like I should give her something for it. Besides sympathy? Yeah, like something happy. She wants like a present or something. Let like... me gift wrap my pity and place it under the tree for you, you dirty bitch. She wants me to like praise her for shitting her pants. And I'm like, oh, okay. Good job. <laughs> like... Pat her on the head. <laughs> Good Here's girl. a cookie. <laughs> right. You tried. Maybe next time. Hey, boys and girls. It's time for another... Hey boys and girls, hey boys and girls. Hey boys and 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 girls. It's time for another It Radio fucking fucking fucker shit and ass tits beer. You know, I didn't check wait, that. That's wait, the only I, thing I, that I, I didn't check. But when uh cuz he said cross the streams and we're talking about catchphrases. A little. There was a couple times uh at work where I went up to one of my coworkers and was like, "Hey, you want to go to the bathroom and play Ghostbusters? We can see what happens when we cross the streams." <laughs> And they looked at me and went, what? And they said, nobody gets that reference. It's like nobody sure. remembers Ghostbusters. Don't uh-huh. cross the streams, they blow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck, huh? You're listening to Blumpkin and Friends. So if you didn't notice, there's a Christmas tree upstairs. I didn't notice. There's just a little one, just like a little three-foot tree. That's probably why I didn't notice. I normally don't put a tree out until Christmas Eve. Oh. And then I take it down Christmas night. Wow. You really are a Scrooge, huh? And it's one of those, like, uh, it's a garland spiral with okay. fish line. I've explained it before. I won it playing bar bingo years ago. Me and my tattoo guy were at the bar across the street from the shop down off of uh, whatever road that was. It used to be Monster <laughs> Inc. Tattoo. He's not there anymore. Now Garrett is at Black Coffin Tattoo off University. Mm. So I won this tree, and it's got fish line, and it's got a little peg in it. You set up two poles, you set it on there, and then you plug it in. You're good. It's a five-minute setup. It's a five-minute takedown. Yeah, I mean, sounds nice, but I like big trees. My parents have a 14-foot tree. They have a vaulted ceiling in the living room. It's fucking ridiculous. (laughs) Oh, my God. I really want to see that. (laughs) Well, you go over there and hang out with my mom in her nightgown all day, stinking up the couch with her big old butt dent she's made over the last 35 years. I mean, I can I can drive by, can't I? Yeah, how are you going to see it? It's inside the house. I don't know. Do they have windows? Just drive by, like, ooh, nice tree. And no, they have these things called curtains because they're not idiots. Oh. They don't want people just randomly driving if, by looking in. No, if I had a 14-foot tree, those windows would be open. It'd be just, look at my tree. Yes, because I'm sure people would come over to look at your tree, not you drinking cocoa in your <laughs> robe by the tree, appreciating the tree. Uh, I would appreciate that tree every day. Big old... Greasy nose smears from people pressing their grill up against the goddamn window. Yeah, I've had my tree up since before Thanksgiving. What the fuck? <laughs> I was excited. That's another thing. One holiday at a time. I worked retail for 10 years. Don't no. fucking. It's part of why I hate Christmas so much. All of them at once. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind. All of them? Yeah, all of them. Like, I've got jack-o'-lanterns on the porch and a cornucopia on the table and a Christmas tree in the living room, and we're going to light some sparklers off. Yep. If my mom didn't steal my pumpkins, I would still, they probably still would be out there. Like being, mine in the porch? Yeah, yeah. Being festive, yep. No, that's called getting them out of the house so they don't attract flies or stink. Well, mine were already outside. Oh, they're frozen in time. Exactly. Kind of. Maybe, It's I like don't know. Christmas pumpkins. Beautiful. Here's a new thing I hate about Christmas. Elf on the Shelf. Why? That lets you get your creativity out. And sometimes you could just do nasty things with that thing. I could, but they're seven, seven and a half, and four and a half. Some of them, they don't understand everything. It's like an inside joke. Right. (laughs) Believe me, the first day, I didn't even know they had this thing. It was the wife's for my stepdaughter, and she puts it out... And there's a note on the counter that says, I missed you, Coco. I'm like, who the fuck is Coco? (laughs) Right. And then there's a goddamn elf, like perched up on a a plant hanger in the kitchen. I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? (laughs) Oh, that's that's Coco. Great. Now I have the responsibility of one of us having to remember to move that little bitch every day. Yeah. And twice they've caught us not moving it. Like, Coco didn't move. Oh, no. What's wrong? Did you touch her? Did she lose her magic? (laughs) <laughs> like, no, maybe she's fucking sleeping. Her eyes are open. They're fucking 
always open. <laughs> and then I have them leave the room, and then I quick have to, like, shuffle her off to another part of the house. And then, like, this morning, for instance, she was back on top of the plant hanger for the second time now. And before my stepdaughter could see, she's eating, she's rubbing her eyes, and I just reached up like this. and It's like six and a half feet, seven feet off the ground. I just grabbed the head and went, whoop, behind my back, walked down the hall, put her in the garbage can, hanging out of the garbage can in the bathroom. <laughs> she's now watching them poop. Nice. Coco's a kinky bitch. Yes, yeah, she is. But every morning they wake up, where's Coco? Did you find Coco? Do you know where Coco is? Don't look for her without me. And they fight over who gets to fucking find this stupid piece of shit. And then my stepdaughter's the most possessive because it's her elf. And she's like, don't, you don't have to find Coco right away every day. I'm like, that's just you trying to stop them from beating you to finding her. Don't fucking give me that. I see right through your ruse. (laughs) I had this thought after morning number two with all the screeching and the laughing and the fucking noise at goddamn 730. I'm like, I'm going to take that little thing and I'm going to tie a rope around its neck and hang it from the plant hanger. And then I'm just going to write humbug goodbye on the dry erase board. See, that sounds more your style. Or I said, and, and the stepdaughter heard me joke about this. And she laughed, and she doesn't know what it means. I'm like, well, maybe one of these days you're just going to wake up and Coco's going to be gone. Just going to be a note on the fridge that says, went out for cigarettes. <laughs> because how many times you've heard somebody like, oh, my dad went out for cigarettes in 1978 and he never came home. Yeah, no, my mom pulled that once. She said she was going to the store real quick, came back three days later. Three days? Yeah, three days. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> my stomach, I'm hungry. Are you hungry or do you need to take a massive shit? No, I'm hungry. Did you not eat today? No. Because you were in such a hurry to come here and talk about Christmas? Yeah, I don't eat breakfast usually. Well, that's your fucking problem. Well, I wake up and I don't want to eat right away. It's just not my first feeling. Well, no, your first feeling is I got to pee. And then your second feeling is I got to put food in my mouth. No. First is pee, then shower, then, like, think about my day. So you're doing this all wrong. No. You get up, you get in the shower, you pee while you're in the shower, and then you get out and you eat. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I pee in the shower, but that's, like, my first thought is, like, oh, God, I really have to pee. So There's that... another one. Somebody else pees in the shower. All right. High five. High five. Save a flush. I do everything in the shower. I brush my teeth. That's a waste of water. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Unless you're brushing with one hand and shampooing with the other, Jennifer Aniston, you're wasting water. No, I brush my teeth in the shower. I think about my day in the shower. I like the shower. The shower is nice. I think about my day in the shower. I think about what I have to do next and then what, what I have like what I have to get done within this time. Because otherwise I'm thinking and driving and we obviously <laughs> see how well I drive. So just got to... Got to focus on one thing at a time. But you don't shit in the shower. No. Because then you have to do the waffle stomp. No, I don't want to do that. So no, I don't. I I've never done it myself, but I imagine it takes numerous stomps to get that through the waffle grate of the shower drain. I don't have a like I don't have anything covering my shower drain, which is bad because it's like a big three inch hole. No, it's about one and a half. It's oh, a small so one. it's a tub drain. Yeah, it's a tub drain. I'm talking a shower drain. Oh, Can you imagine yeah. having to stomp a turd down a worse. little hole in a tub? Yeah, that'd be even worse. I don't think I, I don't even think I want to imagine that. That'd be messy. Well, how big are your poops? I don't know, average. I haven't really compared them. Okay, I'm gonna start making circle with my fingers, and you tell me they're not when to circles. Stop they're not circles. How wide they are? What's the diameter of your poops? Tell me when to stop. I don't know. I don't look at it every time. I'm at two inches. How big is your butthole, Ivy? Keep going. You're almost there. <laughs> Pringles <laughs> no. can? Pringles can. Every day the shits just come out like pancakes. Pancakes. That's why you don't like licking butts. You're self-conscious about your own highly dilated anus. Maybe. Stop masturbating, <laughs> Bryce. Uh, I don't even have a face to this Bryce. How am I supposed to know who, who's Bryce? Well, I told you he's got a really big beard. That sums up a lot of people. Um, unfortunately, his hairline's kind of receding some, but it's, like it's reddish brown, like mine, thanks. <laughs> and now, Jeremy Irons raps. Santa Claus is a fat bitch.
another year and I ain't get shit. If I hear him land on my roof, I'ma bust that fool in the tooth. That was Jeremy Irons Raps. You're listening to Blunkin' and Friends. Uh, have you ever done Secret Santa before? Once. Where at? Work. And it was a horrible disaster. There was no organization, and it just ended up being like not many people even got presents, and half mm. of them did, half of them didn't, and it was very unorganized. People were still given presents like the second week of January. Because they had waited so long. Yep. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that was it was bad. Anytime there's an obligation to get gifts for somebody you wouldn't normally get gifts for, it's such a pain in the ass. I did it at work once at Menards and I was forced into it. <laughs> and I don't even remember what I bought, who I had, but somebody gave me a fucking twenty dollar gift card to Gander Mountain. I don't even know what that is. It well it was an outdoor store. They had, like, kayaks and hunting gear and hunting like Cabela's. clothes. Yes, but smaller, and that's why it doesn't exist anymore, because oh. it's not Cabela's. Oh. <laughs> so I ended up buying a knife. Yeah, I bought a knife. It's the knife I keep in my sock drawer for burglars. Oh. Yeah. Should come in handy someday. Hopefully, unless they know to look in my sock drawer. Yeah. While I'm sleeping. I don't know. That'd be a risky robber. It would be. <laughs> If you're listening to this and you don't know what I look like and you don't know much about me, I look mean and I have an anger problem and I study a lot of violent tactics to hurt people. I didn't know that last part, but yeah, you, I definitely knew you had an anger problem. You look like you have an anger problem. Well, thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, it's not my first foray into um, Secret Santa that time at work at Menards. We did it in third grade. Oh. And then we did it again in sixth grade. I never did it in school once. Third grade, I don't remember what I got, but I bought some kid a G.I. Joe because I liked G.I. Joes. <laughs> and then I told him what I was going to get him. And then he was like, can I have something else from the teacher? Like he wanted to trade because he was upset that he knew what it was going to be. Yeah. He was being a little bitch. <laughs> and then he gets it. He opens up. He's like, this is pretty fucking cool. He didn't say fuck. But he's like, yeah, I really like this. Yeah, it's a fucking G.I. Joe, you vagina. <laughs> fucking complaining about knowing what your presents are. Shut your mouth, bitch. Then there was another year where uh, my mom bought basketball cards mm. for me to give to my classmate, <laughs> and uh, I couldn't. I couldn't wait. I fucking open them up myself. And, like <laughs> the first card I see is a Michael Jordan. I'm like, fuck yes! All right, we're supposed to give up to three dollars on the present. I gave him three dollars and eighteen cents in change. Oh my! In god. a Ziploc bag. Oh my god! And buy your own shit. He's like, well, I thought you were getting a gift. I'm like, yeah, my mom bought basketball cards, but. I opened them and I was like, fuck, there was, there was a Michael Jordan in there. It was awesome. <laughs> That's funny. And then somebody got me this really awesome Shaquille O'Neal poster. Hmm. So I made out like a bandit and fucking other guy gets spare change right. out of my Tootsie Roll bank. And I got a Shaquille O'Neal poster and a Michael Jordan card. You sound very proud of yourself. Fuck yeah, S my D. I'm not going to give you <laughs> basketball. Don't buy them something that I want. <laughs> if we did Secret Santa at work now... I think it would really suck just because there's some people that secretly don't like each other. And by secretly, I mean it's an open secret to some people who then pass it around like gossip. Yeah, no. Well, when we did Secret Santa at work, there was a couple of them that took it really serious and like got presents that that other person might really, really like. They really put a lot of thought into it. And then there was like my roommate who she got this other coworker. Like a bag full of like condoms, douches, Plan B, some lube, some. So condoms. it was a gag gift. Yeah, it was just so it was so funny because like she kind of like talked about how she like did a lot of guys and stuff. So she was like, hey, "I'm gonna get this for her," and it was actually really funny. But Merry Christmas, whore! She was <laughs> so mad. She left it at like she left it at the bar. She was like, "Nope, this is so rude." Blah blah blah. And we're like, "Dude, this is funny." Why are you being so serious? Like, you could use most of this stuff. Like, come on. Don't be a party pooper. I wouldn't use most of that stuff. Why? Because, one, I don't like condoms. Not many guys do. They don't feel nice. I've heard 
It's I, when you go to the movies. Do you put a paper bag over your head? I should probably try. No. And when you eat a steak, would you put a plastic baggie over your tongue while you were eating it? No. Exactly. <laughs> so why the fuck would I put a miniature garbage bag over my dick and not feel what a fun, warm, delicious vagina feels like inside? They're so moist and wow, fun. that was an aggressive description that I haven't heard. In I that. love vaginas <laughs> so much. Oh my god, they're so wet. Oh, they're soft and they're pink. I like to put things in them. Most of them are pink. Some of them. Some aren't. of them are mauve. Mauve. I'm mauve. surprised you even know what that color is. It's the color of the, the beast's inner lips. Wow. And her nipples, by the way. Half Israeli. Yeah, no, she, I knew that part, but... Mauve. I've never seen them, so thank you for giving me that insight. <laughs> well, it either cleared up some question, or now you're like, well, fuck, now I gotta see what that looks like. Well, I mean, I have been asking to see her boobs, because I really wanted to see what they look like full of milk. Well, half full of milk, because she couldn't. They were never, ever in history full of milk. Well, like they had, they were swollen. Like they, they were, were going to have milk, and then nope. she's like, psych. But I'm telling you from experience, <laughs> that cow came dry right from the farm. Oh. That's why the juice and the Chi Chi each were on formula. Yeah. Nobody's even going to trade you five magic beans for that one. <laughs> oh, that's not nice. That's a literary reference to Jack and the Beanstalk. You're welcome. <laughs> And the other thing, the other part of that gift, who gives lube? Why do you need lube? I don't know. Anal. Fair enough. <laughs> However, I would like to point out that saliva is nature's lubricant. Oh, some people find that very gross. Why? Because it's spit. You're like spitting on every orifice of somebody's body. Every orifice? <laughs> Just spitting. You're like, it's... Like, there's no way to make that romantic. That's something you do after you've had too much tequila, and it's just like you regret it in the morning because of how gross you got <laughs> that night. Like, I'm not talking about hocking a loogie into a chick's pussy hole. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, a lot of people think that's what you do. Is no, just... it's to spit in my mouth, not snag up in my sinuses. <laughs> and more importantly, I'm not like <laughs> right in a vagina. That'd be idiotic. And if you'll kiss somebody on the mouth. And you'll go down on them. Well, what's the problem with their spit being in your crotch? Mm. I'm not saying like I hover over like right, just the drop dro- one. Like the fucking drop. Seven or, I, I've done that before. My aim is fucking awesome, by the way. <laughs> Holy Christ. I have the kind of aim. like I can just spit into a trash can six feet away. Sometimes I put arc on it up in the air like I'm shooting a free really? throw. Oh, it's crazy. I don't have that aim. I never played sports because I had no aim for anything. It's kind of a guy thing. I've had an obsession with spitting since I was six. Yeah, that is a guy thing. Oral fixation. But yeah, I mean, maybe a, a guy's going down there to your lady parts with his mouth. And while he's pleasuring you, he just so happens to let a little extra slime in there so that he can take you right to Pound Town. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you sound like a Culligan water dispenser. <laughs> I've never heard that one, but yeah, I guess I do. When I make Why that not? noise... A day-altering shit is on deck. Oh, God. If no. you ever hear my stomach do that, just know that in the next 10 minutes, I will need a bathroom. That's an emergency shit. That's not a, well, we're almost home. I'll just clench my cheeks. Right. No, no, I need a bathroom right now because what's coming over. out of me is just a eight pounds of brown hate. <laughs> no, I, that's what it sounds like when I'm hungry. It's like a whale. A whale in my stomach. Hmm. A whale in your stomach. Yeah, it's like whale noises. Call me Ishmael. <laughs> I'm going to find that white whale, and I'm going to shoot a harpoon right into his face. And then give me some waffles. Oh. Because breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. You need day fuel. It's the most important meal of the day, goddammit. I'm pretty energized. I'm pretty... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next time, I'll eat, Okay. Next time, don't bring the sounds of a drowning cat into my room to record. <laughs> drowning? Well, it's an older cat that has cancer and diabetes, so it's fat. That's why it's so bassy. I just wanted you to know that it, it's picking up on the microphone, I think, and I'm going to do my best to amplify it so that people can <laughs> hear that shit. Yeah, you probably should. At least that first one. That first one was pretty loud. That sounded like an old ship churning. Like mm. the sound of when the Titanic started going up, up, <laughs> up, 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 and then oh. it's going to sink. No. Okay, yeah. Wow, I'm getting a lot of good 
descriptions of that. You are. I'm awesome. shocked full of analogies. Nice. What's your favorite Christmas present you ever got as a kid? Um, probably my Easy Bake Oven. That was a great gift. I ate snacks all day. Did it come in a box that was addressed to another child with a balloon or two of a substance inside of it? No. Oh. It was mine. Okay. It was mine. I got it from Santa. Did you? <laughs> yeah. My How's grandparents do that. They they still do it, even being that I'm like 21 now. <laughs> they they still do it. And I'm the only grandchild that they write on the presents, um, Miss Ivy May. Like, they... I'm the only grandkid that they do that to. Everybody else is just, you know, their first name. No miss, no mister, no nothing. I'm Miss Ivy May. Even on Santa's gifts. That's how That's how I started picking up that Santa was grandpa. Because Santa called me the same thing grandpa did on my presents. And nice I was like, fucking alibi. Yeah. I was like, uh-uh. You guys have been playing me. This is not right. They even do like that. that really like... Hallmark scenery type wrapping paper, oh. the Santa ones for Santa, and then do some crazy like gingerbread men and cartoons for the regular grandkids. Like they go all out to try and sneak this, but they they slipped up, and Santa called me Miss Ivy May. Yeah, see, I'm picturing like an old couple sitting on a porch swing in a country time lemonade commercial. Well, they do live out in like Big Lake. So. Or conversely, that's something that all the slaves would call you if you were walking amongst them in the garden <laughs> on the plantation as they're picking the cotton. Good morning, Miss Ivy. <laughs> yeah. Tip of the hat. Get back in the goddamn field. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. Bastards. I'm just the only one that they do that to. And I'm not even like the first grandkid, so it's like I don't have any authority. I'm just Miss Ivy May and everybody else is their first name. It's kind of rude. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm still sticking with the fact that I think my favorite Christmas present ever was my Super Nintendo. And I knew I was getting it because my mom had me show her what it was. And then she made me go wait out in the van with my dad in the parking lot at Kmart. And then she came out and I wasn't allowed to look at what was being put in the back of the van. Right. And then she hides it in her bedroom behind the uh, the small recliner chair in the corner of their bedroom where she hid everything. <laughs> So I knew what it was, and I went back there one night when they were home, and I looked, and I was, I just fucking had the morning freak out they wanted to see me have. Yeah, but... I had it in private. <laughs> you ruin everything. <laughs> so um, that first booby trap that Kevin McAllister sets for the Wet Bandits in Home Alone 1, and he's running with a BB gun on his back, he's like, yes! Yes, 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 yes! That was my freak out right there for the Super Nintendo. It was exactly that. I might have done some air pumping, some thrusting. Like... <laughs> I was Jesus. so fucking excited for Super Nintendo. Right. I don't think I've ever seen you that excited. I don't ever. do a lot of crotch thrusting because I don't score many touchdowns these days. Oh, sorry. Or ever. Ever, Didn't yeah. not really play football much. No. You don't look like a footballer at all. <laughs> Oh, that was a gurgle with a bubble, too. I'm trying to, like... I'm Are you to sure drink... you don't have to shit? Yeah, I'm positive. I'm trying to drink water. Because sometimes they sneak up on you. I know, but I can plan that. Like, I feel it. Like, there's not much in there, so if something's moving, I know it's 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 that time. Mm. Yeah. Because I was given the juice a bath a few weeks ago, and then I had this sudden painful cramp in my stomach, <laughs> and I instinctively knew something bad was about to happen to me. So I went to the, I ran to the bathroom and sat on the toilet. And then, like that's And then I sat to... down and then it's just Brah! I don't think I mean I'm lactose intolerant. So if I have milk that's kind of how it is, but otherwise my body's really good at telling me, "Eh, you should probably go to the bathroom in the next 10 minutes, 20 minutes." 30 seconds after that first one there was a second second round of the chamber. Really? Yeah, and then the third one happened. I was like, "Oh my god, my <laughs> pants are going to fit awesome." Right, you poop a lot. This was mostly diarrhea. Oh. And the third you... round, I was peeing out of my butt. Why? What did you eat that day? I don't know. I mean, I, I figure you're, you're kind of healthy, so... When it comes to shitting like that, it's not the journey, it's the destination. Oh. It doesn't matter what... Is that you or me now? That's my stomach still, yeah. God damn it. I'm sorry. You're listening to Blumpkin and Friends. How do you feel about gingerbread houses? 
Um, they're okay. The gingerbread itself is really gross because it's hard. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to fucking eat it. What? It's a decoration. It's not for food. Why can't you eat it? It's you can. A... But that's like fruit cake. Because that's what I want is I want fruit in the cake that I'm eating. And the cake is normally gross anyway. So then yeah, you add like, like hard, crusty. Juji fruit crap in there. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't really do gingerbread houses very often. It's more as like if my niece is... <laughs> This is starting to get distracting. <laughs> it is, yeah. No, it's more as, as if my nieces want to do it, and then I'll do it with them. But I don't go out and buy a gingerbread house. Because there's one in a box up on the kitchen counter. I don't know why it's in the box. I don't know if she's trying to avoid the cat chewing on it or what the fuck. Like, is you it have already this done? Thing. Yes, it's already done. And it, but it's in the box. Yeah, I think it's from last year or the year before. Oh, that's gross. Well, they don't really mold. They kind of stay, I think. Yeah, they're. it's like... If you think about gingerbread cookies, it's c- completely different than a gingerbread house. Like, they're not the same molecular molecular structure. Listen to Bill Nye, the science guy over here. I like gingerbread cookies. Gee, ew. They're my favorite. Molasses cookies and gingerbread cookies. What the fucking, really? Yeah, they're my favorite. It's, okay, we gotta stop talking about food. See these little dots on there? Yeah. That's your stomach rumbles getting picked up by the microphone there, Chachi. That's awesome. Yeah. My Look God. at it. Yeah, great. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> We've reached the point of the show where it's time to play a game. Okay. Enthusiasm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, you're a two-time uh, participant in the RPS Challenge. Mm-hmm. You're also a two-time loser at the RPS Challenge. That's not very nice. You I, lost to no, the juice. I I thought I won to you. No. No, I beat you. Okay, in I went fact, home a winner. <laughs> in your own mind. I beat you so that my last five matches came to a record of three and two, which tied me with Neil so that we played on an episode, and then I beat him for number one contendership. And when I get Nurse Ashley on here soon... I'm going to take her on for the RPS title live on the show. Hmm. Hopefully it's before the end of time because she keeps not having the opportunity to make it. I hope I hope she wins just to spite you. Just to why? Because you can't be a winner every time. It's not how this goes. She's a winner like every time. It's fucking ridiculous. Good for her. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Blumpkin and Friends proudly brings to you the Rock, Paper, Scissors Intercontinental Championship Challenge Championship of the World! So you'll be going up against the juice again. Oh, boy. Yeah. Are you excited for that? No, because I lost last time. Uh, Well, I had her do it really quick while she was eating this morning, so she was distracted, so she didn't think strategy. Okay. She immediately rattled off eight in a row, the whole eight. Good. The five plus three over time. Sounds like I have a chance. Without further ado, hand number one. Rock. She threw a paper. Point for the juice. God damn it. Hand number two. Um, scissors. She also threw a scissors. That's new point. Hand number three. Rock again. She threw a rock. That's another tie. Hand number four. Um, Paper. Well, she also threw a paper. (laughs) So now we're at hand number five. You're down one point to no points. You need to get this one just to take it to overtime. Okay. Hand number five. Um, Scissors. She also threw a scissors. Oh, my God. So you lose again. God damn it. And, but that was a good run. I'm going to give myself a couple participation points for, for that. getting four ties. Yes, because that's pretty great. You know, consistency is key, and you consistently lose. So, <sighs> Well, don't nice beat yourself thing. up about it. I'm going to cry now. I'm going to go home and cry. Okay, thinking about how much I lost. If you're going to cry about something, cry about the idea of somebody hocking a loogie into your cooch during sex. That would make me throw up. I probably would throw up. Like, Ugh, you better get out. Like, go go walk around the block or something. I need time Yeah. to do a cleanse. To do a cleanse? <laughs> yeah, like I need to go in the a shower. spiritual cleanse. Take my shower head and just power wash. 
everything. Hello. If Bryce wasn't <laughs> masturbating before, that might have been what gets him there. The power wash. A woman using a shower head to really hone in on her lady parts. Yeah. That would give anybody curious stirrings in their utility belt. Those are those are great gifts from God, shower heads. <laughs> Eight settings. Yeah, I got the fancy one with like all the different settings. That's great. You can't tell me these things because my mind starts to wonder <laughs> if you're using it to diddle yourself. I'll never tell. So that's a yes. <laughs> <sighs> well, if you ever get the chance, I want you to see the movie Repenetrator. Oh, no. That doesn't sound nice. <laughs> Hang on. There's a horror movie called Reanimator. It's Re- about a Re- kid in college who takes his dead girlfriend to a lab and reanimates her. Oh. So they made a, a porno spoof of it called Repenetrator. And one year, at a Christmas get-together, like 12 of us sat around and watched it. Oh, my God. And it has one of the greatest lines of dialogue I've ever heard (laughs) in a movie. Like it's an actual movie? Like it's not something off a porn site? Yes, it's an actual movie. I tried to find it on DVD. I've been unsuccessful. (laughs) Um, There's a chick eating another chick out. Okay. Okay. So she's eating this zombie chick out. Oh, she's a zombie chick. So one's completely yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah. So before she goes down there, she spits on her pussy while she's fingering her to give her some lubrication. Then she goes to munch her box, and you hear this, oh, yeah, eat it. Eat my zombie pussy. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be able to take that serious at all. Well, you're not supposed to take it serious. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be that's, very tongue-in-cheek. That's bad. <laughs> or tongue-in-lips at that point. Giggity. Yeah. Eat my zombie pussy. That's not, that's a great line. That's also a great t-shirt if you got an image of them on the front and on the back it says, oh yeah, eat it, eat my zombie pussy. (laughs) Wear that shit for the zombie pub crawl. I can't. I can't wear anything like vulgar like that with swear words or anything because I bought a jersey for St. Patty's Day last year and all it says is lucky bitch on the back with number 17 and I had to put duct tape over the word bitch because they just... They were like, no, we got to cover this up. I'm like, seriously? On you Hall- work at a bar, not a Hallmark yeah. gift shop. I was like, on Halloween, we basically can wear lingerie around this place, but I can't wear bitch on the on my back. Yeah, Beetlejuice. Hey, it was a great costume. Yeah, all great. poofy hair and ass cheeks hanging out. Yeah, you didn't even see the backside. That was... The shorts weren't originally that short like there was a lot more fabric to them but she had to re- remake them and when she remade them she like cut way too much and she's like well i thought you wouldn't mind i was like uh i mean usually i don't wear stuff like that so i kind of mind a little bit but it's too late now for you to remake them again so let's just have to power through it no oh, peekaboo i thought fishnets would help it did <laughs> it I don't know why I thought it would. A but skirt would have helped. I don't have striped skirts. Touche. It was very hard to find striped shorts because I tried buying them like online and I tried finding them and I couldn't. They were just none. So I had to have a friend make them. Well, now for Christmas you can dress up as slutty Mrs. Claus. I can. The, the, the Christmas pub crawl is this weekend. There you go. That's Super short shorts. Maybe just cinch him up so you get a nice camel toe going. Oh, God, no. no. Just sit there and lick candy canes all night. Your tips will be huge. Well, I don't work. That's the problem. So I can be even worse if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Opportunity missed. Interact with the show on Twitter at Blumpkin Show. That is at Blumpkin Show. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Blumpkin. No, sorry. At facebook.com slash group slash Blumpkin and friends. I'm the Reverend Johnny Blumpkin. And I'm just Ivy. Good night. Fuck Christmas! It's a waste of fucking time. Fuck Santa! He's just out to get your time. Fuck Holly and fuck Ivy and fuck all that mistletoe. White bearded big fat bastards bringing go wherever you go. Men in shopping malls all going. <laughs> it's Christmas fucking time. <laughs> <laughs>